Before we start synchronization of the throttle bodies, there's a few things you've got to take off and prep the bike. So you've got to um, loosen that little screw over here and the same one on the other side of the motorcycle because there's two, one on the left, one on the right side, right hand side of the motorcycle. That's going to allow you to take the airbox off. This connector here has to be taken off as well. This is your um, intake air temperature sensor. You will have to, you will have to also disconnect this connector, which is your intake air pressure sensor, and take this hose here as well. Unplug the hose over there, the big hose with the clip at the top, and then on the right-hand side of the motorcycle, um, you will also have to loosen that screw there which is the one I've mentioned on the left side which is going to allow you to take your airbox off um, you're going to be disconnecting this hose here and then you're pretty much good to go with taking the airbox of course don't forget to unscrew that bolt here and there's going to be one more hose at the very bottom of the airbox which I'm going to show you just in a moment Okay, so this is our airbox uh, taken off the motorcycle. You've only got two more things to do with it. Disconnect this hose over here. And now at the end, unscrew this connector from the airbox. And plug it back in to this connector here. As you can see, there is a thread over here, which allows uh, this sensor to be screwed in. So we need to unscrew it. There's going to be a little washer over here, so keep it aside. And what we've got to do now, you need to plug that back in to the connector here. Now we can hook up our Carbtune Pro tool uh, to synchronize the throttle bodies. The way you do it is first you need to disconnect the vacuum hoses from the right side of each throttle body. So this is throttle body number one. So what you're disconnecting is this hose here. On the second throttle body is this hose here, on the third one is this hose here, and on the fourth one is this hose here. Use the screwdriver, flat screwdriver, and pry them away, and after a while they, they, they'll come off. There we go. Second, third, and fourth. There we go. Once you've got that done, you can now hook up your Carbtune Pro. And so this is our Carbtune Pro. And the great thing about this particular tool is that you don't have to calibrate it. So you just simply hook it up and you uh, go ahead with your synchronization. As you can see, there's four hoses coming off it. And the way you've got to connect it is, you see you've got four lines here. One, two, three, and four. Those will be indicating the pressures. So obviously four hoses. So hose number one goes to throttle body number one and etc. So just connect them respectively. Uh, we can now start doing the synchronization. Before we do it, uh, warm your engine up. It's got to be um, run for, let's say, 10 minutes just to get to operating temperature and set your RPM to 1150, which you can do by using the idle adjuster, which is on the right hand side, just over here. So start the engine up and slightly turn it to get 1150 RPM. Obviously you won't be able to get exactly that, but as long as you're close to that, you're gonna be able to start your synchronization. Okay, we're just about to start synchronization. Everything is hooked up, the bike is warmed up. Um, you're gonna have four throttle bodies, as you can nicely see, and three little screws in between them. So this is a screw number one, that's between throttle body number one and number two. That's your screw number two, between throttle body two and three. And that's your last screw over here between throttle body three and four. And you're going to be moving those with your um, screwdriver um, to get the specific readings on your Carbtune Pro. So firstly, we're going to so firstly we're going to synchronize throttle body one with throttle body two. Once those two are quite even on our display here, then we're going to move on to synchronizing throttle body two. Sorry, throttle body three with throttle body four. When those are quite even, then we're going to synchronize the sets of those two with those two. And we do that by using this little screw over here. Well, let's go ahead and start the bike up. So as you 
as you can see, so as you can see, they are a bit off. Quite uneven, so we've got to bring them down to as level as possible. So look at that, they're kind of even, they're not perfect, but good enough for me, so that's the job done. 